Creating a bootable USB drive with a Cronus True Image ISO involves two main steps. Downloading the ISO file and then using a software tool to write the ISO file to the USB drive. Here's a step-by-step -step guide. Prepare the bootable USB drive. Download and install a USB bootable software. There are several third-party tools available for creating bootable USB drives from ISO files. One popular option is Rufus, which is free and easy to use. You can download Rufus from its official website, rufus.ie, https colon slash slash rufus.ie slash closing parenthesis. Insert your USB drive. Plug your USB drive into your computer. Please note that the drive will be formatted during this process, so make sure to back up any important data from the USB drive before proceeding. Open Rufus. Run Rufus on your computer. It might ask for administrator privileges. Grant them. Configure Rufus settings. Device. Select your USB drive from the drop-down list. Boot selection. Choose disk or ISO image. Please select. Click on the small disk icon next to the drop-down and select your Acronis True Image ISO file. Partition scheme. Choose MBR, for older systems, or GPT, for newer systems, depending on your computer's architecture. File system. Choose FAT32. If your ISO file is larger than 4 GB, you might need to use NTFS. Volume label. You can set a name for your USB drive. Cluster size. Leave it as the default value. Click on Start to begin the process. Rufus will show a warning that all data on the device will be destroyed. Make sure you've backed up any important data and click OK to proceed. Wait for the process to complete. Rufus will format the USB drive and copy the Acronis True Image files to make it bootable. This might take a few minutes, so be patient. Eject the USB drive safely. Once Rufus displays Ready at the bottom, it means the process is complete. You can now eject the USB drive safely. Your USB drive should now be bootable with Acronis True Image. You can use it to boot into the Acronis environment and perform backup and recovery tasks on your computer. Remember that the specific steps might vary slightly based on the version of Rufus or other software tools you use, but the general process remains the same.